<laughs> Clapping. You, you've successfully mutinied. What are we doing today, Johnny? Oh, we, I, I guess we should do a thing, shouldn't you we? You should explain a thing that you got okay. people all over the state. You guys you want to do a thing? Clap. Yeah! Yeah! And they're still clapping. That's good. That's, okay. yeah, strong choice. So, we're going to play a game. You want to you see a game? Yeah! All righty. So, this game is called Clap Line. Yeah! Is that why you did that subtle segue thing? Yes, it was super subtle. We never saw it come. We're totally, let's yeah. hear for being blown away. Woo! Okay, so the way this game works is actually we're going to be the ones clapping, right? I, 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 hate to, I hate to take that away from you, but you are allowed to laugh and do... Thank you. Okay, so the way this game works, it is an improv game. Uh, what we're going to need from you is, first off, we need characters for the two of us. Papa Smurf and Gandalf. <laughs> Real quick on the draw, those two. All right, so then we're going to need uh, an occupation. Plumber. Wizard. Plumber. Plumber wizard. Plumber wizard. <laughs> Apparently you're, you know, working at Hogwarts these days. <laughs> and for our last pair, what we need is a location. Hogwarts. Hogwarts, <laughs> Hogwarts. okay. So, this is actually going to be really easy, he said knowingly. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> All right, and lastly, what we need is a word. Okay. Spaghetti. 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 So, Papa Smurf and Gandalf, plumber wizards, <laughs> these two are at Hogwarts, and somehow, all of these scenes have to do with spaghetti. Now, there is a twist. Yes. This particular twist. Anytime one of the pairs that is not currently in a scene claps, what they will do is they will take the last line that was said and enter the scene advanced in time from wherever they were previously when they were up at the thing. You understand so far? It sounds like a really hesitant, yes, it's okay, we'll make it work anyway. No? Okay, well, then I guess we'll just show you how it works. You ready to see this thing? Yeah! All right. Well, m m <laughs> Mr. Gandalf, I don't, I don't understand what you're talking about with, with all this magic spaghetti thing. I mean, how is, how is that going to get Gargamel to stop trying to eat us? Well... You shall. N <laughs> How's that going to get Gargamel to stop trying to eat us? That was a trick question that Professor Benz put on the history exam. <sighs> we know that Gargamel is not real. So I answered, Gargamel's not trying to eat us. You know, it's. His, his questions seem to be really fueled by that the fantasy series he's reading about people who. You know, his questions seem to be filled with all that fantasy stuff he's been reading about. I hear he's been trying to eat that magic spaghetti that we made the other day and yeah, brought to lunch yeah, a, on a, plumbing a, duty. Yeah, a lot of people have been bringing that magic spaghetti lately. It's just making our jobs more difficult in the long run. Well, time. they have to deal with my magic wand unclogging... No. Oh. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, every teacher here at Hogwarts can deal with my magic wand because... I cannot fail out of this school. I am not a squib. It is not my fault that my wand isn't calibrated correctly. <laughs> it is not my fault that my wand is not calibrated correctly. I you didn't take it to Jerry to calibrate your wand. We got to go to this magic castle over here and unclog all the magic toilets. <laughs> I took it to Jerry. He just didn't get to it. It's an emergency oh, Jerry call. Jerry must have been filled up on spaghetti. He couldn't get anything done when he's done like that. Damn that spaghetti. Damn that spaghetti! You shall not pass until you bring me the magic spaghetti! Well, see, now, now here's the problem. See, I wouldn't be saying, damn that spaghetti, unless we had already tried the spaghetti. Turns out, it makes Smurfs even more delicious! <laughs> Turns 
turns out it makes Smurfs even more delicious. I mean, yes, it's illegal, but I mean, if it's if it's just crunchy it's not goodness. Correct to use black market Smurfs as a mental enhancer for your test taking. It's cheating. I buy stuff from the Weasleys, yeah, but you know, it's gag stuff. Well, you know, the, the quality of their product has gone down a lot in years. Well, that's because they're redheads. <laughs> look, look, I mean, m many a time I tried to get them involved in, you know, Professor Sprout's little operation he got back there. That's how we got into the blue Smurf contraband in the first place. Well, I mean, it was a lot better than the yellow Smurfs. I mean, they made you like throw up stuff like spaghetti. <laughs> they made you throw up stuff like spaghetti. It was really weird. What did you eat? I didn't eat nothing. This wine plunger thingy is just shooting stuff off at random. You're the worst magical assistant I've ever had in my entire life. I'm... <laughs> magical assistant I've ever had in my life. What do you expect? I'm three inches tall. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but I expected more than this. Oh, yeah, I bet you... S <laughs> I don't know why I expected from this test ban, but I expected more than this. It's not bad enough that you made me use the feather quill that hurts your hand. You made me write the answers on my back for you. Well, it was a good idea at the time. How was I supposed to know the dog was attracted to blood? Because the dog was licking my back. <laughs> because the dog was licking my back, Gargamel's just like, oh, right, that dog I had that finds Smurfs. That's why the magic spaghetti was such a bad idea! Um, that wasn't a dog. It wasn't a dog? No. I'm it, it, wasn't, it wasn't that, like, that Frodo kid you're always hanging out with, is it? No, it wasn't Frodo. Wait, was it? <laughs> no, it wasn't Frodo! <laughs> Wait, was it? I, 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 I'm not sure at this point. I just don't. I've been eating. You didn't look in that drain? I, I did not look. I just shot. You know, one down drain, and, and then I walked away. This medieval, this medieval time, we have to go and unclog these medieval toilets in our medieval magical realm. It's busting my balls. <laughs> this... <laughs> <laughs> It's busting my ball. See, I was three inches tall. I knew how it worked before. Now I'm people-sized. What am I supposed to do with this? I, I don't know. I thought I was nine feet tall. Look at me now. It happens to the best of us. Well, where am I going to find, like, onesie pants that are going to fit me now? Yeah, because you definitely need a onesie at this point. <laughs> where am I going to find onesie pants that are going to fit me now? Dude, we're gonna have to go to Nocturne Alley for that kind of stuff. <laughs> Last time I went there, I ended up puking up my guts in one of the toilets. That magic spaghetti was not kosher. Uh, you, you know those janitors that came to clean up? Those guys were fucking assholes. I know, right? That's why everything ends up in the Black Lake. <sighs> it's, it's, it's awful, and you know, they, honestly, if, before they unionized, they no were much the nicer. the mermaids are pissed. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> That assistant, he's supposed to be unclogging the toilets. He's just scooping the stuff out and throwing it in the lake. I thought the mermaid was going to eat my head off when I put my face in there to vomit. I mean, so no, because with all right. the magical radiation now, no, no, they have like three eyes and stuff. <laughs> now with all the magical radiation, they got three eyes and stuff. I don't know why they flush it down that toilet anyway. Don't start me lying. It's just our job to... Why would I want to start you lying? You should be telling me the truth right now. Did you get in there and unclog that drain? I unclogged the drain, but it is not my responsibility what those fuckers put in the drain in the first place. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I unclogged the drain, but it is not my responsibility what those fuckers put in the drain in the first place. Okay, I've got to admit, on, on this one occasion, you're right. That spaghetti was not magical. Oh, God. Oh, uh -oh. That, that explains why, why I'm having such larger poops now. 
And I don't think it's because I'm taller. Mm, probably not. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Uh, I, I can't. I'm not feeling so good. Uh, uh, uh. What, what was in that? <clears throat> what was in that? It's supposed to be magic spaghetti, but the leprechaun, I think you just put marshmallows in it. You don't, <laughs> you don't get magic spaghetti out of a can that just sprays everywhere. That's not edible. It's not? No. We can do magic, but out of a can... It is, is, be a that, is, that, is that beyond the lines? That, yes. Yes. Whoa. That guy in Nocturne Alley is selling illegal muggle artifacts as magic spaghetti. Stupid it was illegal. pink, for goodness sakes. <laughs> it was pink, for goodness sake. What am I supposed to do with that? Get the leeches. <laughs> I am not as right there. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's hear it for Brett Crow, Sticks, Johnny Morbid, Trump, Chris Cortinas, and Christopher Strand.